So as you know, I'm a bit of a magician. I've been dabbling in some of the mystery arts for a few years now. And one of the things that I had to learn and one of the things that is most challenging about being a magician is that you have to be able to believe the impossible. And to believe the impossible, you generally have to be able to split your mind into two. What I'm trying to say by that is that to be a magician, you have to have the ability to split your mind to two different parts and making them believe exactly opposite things. And one of the easiest exercises to achieve that is the one I'm about to show you. And then I'm hoping to either teach you or you or you this very exercise of focus and splitting your mind. I'm sure, as you know, if you were to hold your hand over a candle for too long, at some point it will burn. Now the easiest way of starting to split your mind in two is to try and make yourself believe that the flame cannot harm you. It's try and make yourself believe that there will be no pain whatsoever whenever you get close to the flame. And I'll show you how far I've come over the last few years. Flame cannot harm me. But of course, if you break focus, at some point, it becomes absolutely impossible to keep your hand over it. I'll show you how difficult it is first if you'll take your hand out, take your right hand up first, and hold it over there. Right now, I assume that you must be under the impression that the flame will hurt you. <laughs> the flame will hurt you. So to achieve the split of your mind, I will need you to split your mind into two. I'm gonna need you to close your eyes for a moment. And I'd like you to literally imagining splintering off part of your mind. Now before we start, it's essential that you do not perceive or see the reality that is in front of you. So I'm going to ask you to give me your hand. Do you trust me with this? Fantastic. Put your hand right over here. And it will feel almost cool. Are you okay? And keep imagining that the flame is matter of fact extinguished. Keep imagining that the flame is not there and that the flame cannot harm you. Are you okay still? Fantastic. Keep imagining that we have blown out the flame and that there is no way that this flame can hurt you. Are you still okay? Fantastic. I'm gonna let go of your hand. Keep your hand right where it is. Fantastic. And keep this belief. You may lower it a little bit if you want. You okay? Fantastic. Keep the belief. Now in a moment. Ooh. There you go. Once you break focus, you will lose it right there. Very well done though. <laughs> 